oral and maxillofacial surgery is surgery of the mouth, teeth, uh, jaws and face, including the head and neck. Um, it's a unique specialty in the sense that we have to have a dental degree and a medical degree. We are also surgeons, so we have a fellowship at the Royal College of Surgery and also uh, we're fellows uh, in dental surgery. Uh, so the training is quite, uh, quite long, uh, about 20 years, but uh, we're unique that we have specialised them in both the surgery uh, side of dentistry and also uh, surgery of the, of the face, jaws and teeth as well. A lot of my referrals are from dermatologists with, uh, for the removal of facial skin cancers. And there's essentially two elements to this. One is to successfully remove the whole of the skin cancer so the patient is cured. And two is to reconstruct the defect to uh, achieve a, a good cosmetic result uh, so that at conversational distance uh, it uh, looks like the patient has not had any surgery. And um, there's different techniques involved in that. With regards to reconstruction, uh, my expertise is local flap surgery, so removing uh, the skin of the face around to uh, close the defects and to give a, an acceptable looking scar. Uh, and also skin grafts and also direct closure but uh, putting the scars in the anatomical places where they're, they're not visible. Some patients uh, have problems with their wisdom teeth as they're erupting and then it settles down uh, and then they have no more problems but some patients the wisdom tooth doesn't come into a favourable position in the mouth uh, and then they have to make the decision whether they want that wisdom tooth removed and I will help them with that decision. Uh, there's certain risks involved with like any surgery of removing the wisdom teeth and it's discussing the pros and cons uh, with that individual patient and sometimes getting uh, 3D scans to look at where the, the roots are in relationship to the surrounding nerves um, and, and then it's uh, removing the wisdom tooth in the, in the, uh, uh, the safest, uh, in the safest um, way possible uh, to, to allow this, the, the mouth to heal uh, for patients. Uh, well, it depends on uh, what operation the patients are having and for something like re after removal of a wisdom tooth, then most patients are usually getting back to normal within 10 to 14 days. Um, for facial skin cancers, uh, then the healing process is, um, is a few days. Uh, uh, whereas the scar may, may take several months to heal, but most patients uh, either require the, the stitches out after about five days uh, and the wound's looking quite good after a, a few weeks, uh, but the, uh, the sort of final healing of the scar does take up to 18 months. Uh, for m more sort of uh, involved surgery of the jaws, then, uh, for example, after a broken jaw, then patients would normally be on a soft diet for six weeks afterwards, and they would have some swelling and bruising uh, for a few weeks afterwards, and they would have to refrain from uh, contact sports for several uh, weeks, uh, usually afterwards as well.